Well, we've talked about dBs, and so it's time really to talk about what is a dB. And a dB is a ratio between two things, and in this case, the ratio between two power levels. You can use dBs to measure all sorts of things, but when we talk about the radio, we're talking about the relative ratio between two powers. And you say, well, why do I need a ratio? Well, the reason why you need to look at it this way is that, let's say you've got an access point that's transmitting at 200 milliwatts. The time it gets to the client that's going to receive that signal, recover it, it arrives about 10 to the minus 10 milliwatts. And so the difference between 100 milliwatts and 10 to the minus 10 milliwatts is a lot of zeros. And it's very difficult to conceptualize what that is. And so by looking at the ratio between those two powers and then taking the log of it, it makes it a number that's more reasonable to be able to quote and to understand. And so if, when you look at dBs and you look at this chart, if I lose half the power when I transmit over the air, I would say that's a 3 dB loss. If I was to lose one-tenth of the power, then that would be a 10 dB loss. And so it keeps going. And so all a dB is looking at the ratio between two powers and taking the log of it so the numbers are easier for us to deal with. I just want to remind you about a couple of key terms that we talked about in this lesson. The first is the signal to noise and interference ratio. Sometimes people just abbreviate that to the signal to noise ratio. And as it says, it's a ratio and is comparing the signal that you received over the background noise and interference level. The other term is the decibel, which is also a ratio. And a decibel is simply a logarithmic value and looking at the ratio of two values. And here we've been using it to look at the power difference of when I'm transmitting a signal to when I'm receiving a signal. And the log of the ratio of that difference is what we then quote in decibels. Very important to be familiar with both of these two things and of course they're ratios and so of course they actually have no value like you can't say meters or inches they are ratios of two values thank you for listening